Hi, welcome to Physics 3.2 on Calculating Force. The equation of the day is F equals MA. The second law is all about a simple formulation To get the force, just multiply mass and acceleration If that's too much to say, there is an easy way Try this abbreviation for this simple formulation F equals M-A-F 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 Now that's the abbreviation Mass times acceleration. Force equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration. Force equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration. F equals m a f equals m a f equals m a f equals m a. Now let's give you some actual definitions of force. Force equals mass times acceleration. That means that force is directly proportional to both mass and acceleration. And mass is inversely proportional to acceleration. Remember that directly proportional means they do the same thing as one goes up, the other goes up. And inversely does mean that as one goes down, the other must go up. For a given mass, the F net if F net, the total amount of force, doubles, triples, etc. in size, so does the acceleration. For a given force, if the mass doubles, the acceleration must be cut in half. And the F net, or the total force, and the acceleration always have to point in the same direction. Weight is something else. Mass is the amount of matter an object takes up. It is measured in kilograms and it does not change when the object is moved to various locations with different gravitational strengths. Weight is Fg, that force of gravity, is the mass of an object times the acceleration due to gravity. So Fg will equal mg or the force of gravity, is the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. All forces are measured in units of newtons. One newton is equal to one kilogram times one meter per second per second. So what is net force? Well, this little symbol right here is a sigma, means the total amount of force. When forces act in the same line, the same linear direction, we can add or subtract their magnitudes to find the net force or total force. So if a ten, two kilogram ball was being pulled to the left with 15 newtons, to the right with 10 newtons and 32 newtons, the net force would be 27 newtons to the right because 42 minus 15 is 27. The acceleration then would be the net force, 27 newtons, divided by the mass of two kilograms to get an acceleration of 13.5 meters per second per second. Other locations. We're not always going to stay on Earth. A spring scale on a given planet reads 12 newtons. The balance shows a mass of 1.09 kilograms. What is the acceleration due to gravity on this planet, and what planet are we on? Well, you would have to take the force, 12 newtons, divided by the mass, 1.09 kilograms, to get 11 meters per second per second. And a little bit of Googling will give you that we are on Neptune. The planet Neptune has a gravitational field strength of 11 meters per second per second. So let's look at some examples. Example one, 
Three people are pulling on a wagon applying forces of 100 newtons, 150 newtons to the left, and 200 newtons to the right. Apparently, Joey doesn't want them to take the wagon. The wagon has a mass of 25 kilograms. Determine the acceleration and the direction the wagon moves. Well, the acceleration would be the total force of 50 newtons to the left divided by 25 kilograms to be 2 meters per second per second to the left. Bonus, how fast is the wagon moving after 15 seconds? Here's where we start to pull in units 1 and 2. In example 2, again, there's a bonus aspect to this. You have a plane that needs to accelerate at 5 meters per second per second to reach takeoff before reaching the end of the runway. If the mass of the plane is 5,000 kilograms, how much force is needed from the engine? Well, remember, force is mass times acceleration, so we would need 25,000 newtons of force from the engine. And again, bonus question, how long is the runway if takeoff took 14 seconds? Now let's talk about equilibrium. Equilibrium is the condition of zero acceleration. So zero acceleration is called equilibrium. In equilibrium, all forces, up and down and left and right, cancel out, leaving zero net force. Objects that are standing still are in equilibrium because their acceleration is zero. Objects that are moving at a constant speed and direction are also in equilibrium because their total net force is also zero. For example, a woman is holding two dogs on a leash. If each dog pulls with a force of 80 newtons, how much force does the woman have to exert to keep the dogs from moving in order to make it zero acceleration? The woman would need to exert 160 newtons of force to the left in order to keep the dogs from moving. Other locations, part two. A brick requ requires 4,116 newtons to lift it on Earth. How much force would be required to lift it on the sun where the gravitational field strength is 274 meters per second per second? The first thing that you have to do is find its mass on Earth. So force is equal to mass times acceleration 4,116 divided by 9.8 gives you a mass of 420 kilograms. Putting that same mass, because mass does not change by location, putting that same mass on the sun, we would have 420 times 274, and it would require a force of 115,080 newtons. You're going to have problems to do in class today. Thanks for watching.